In 1946, DuPont introduced non-stick cookware, which featured a chemical coating with the brand name of Teflon. Today, the entire family of fluorinated compounds, commonly known as PFAS, is found not only in pots and pans, but also in the blood of nearly all people around the world, including 98% of Americans. It's even found in the blood of newborn babies. But how do chemicals used in cookware get into our bodies? PFAS chemicals are used in a staggering array of consumer products and commercial applications. From nonstick pans to stain repellent carpets, waterproof clothing, fast food wrappers, and firefighting foams. PFAS are even used in personal care products and cosmetics. When we make, use, and dispose of these products, PFAS are released into the environment, polluting the water that we drink and the land that produces our food. Because they contain a strong carbon fluorine bond, PFAS don't break down. They can remain in the environment and people for decades. That's why they're often called forever chemicals. The PFAS family of chemicals, which includes thousands of synthetic compounds, is concerning because even extremely small doses of PFAS have been linked to serious health harms. These include increased risk of cancer, hormone disruption, accelerated puberty, liver damage, thyroid disease, and immune system harm such as reduced vaccine effectiveness. For decades, chemical companies have covered up the evidence of health hazards linked to PFAS. Today, more than 200 million people in the US may be drinking PFAS tainted water. EWG's recent analysis found that there may be as many as tens of thousands of sources of PFAS across the country including industrial releasers, landfills, and wastewater treatment plants. EWG has developed a health guideline of one part per trillion for the total amount of PFAS detected in drinking water. Our guideline is based on the best available science about the entire class of these chemicals. We need tougher laws and regulations to protect all of us from PFAS because we face exposures every day. There are steps that you can take to protect you and your family from PFAS. As a first line of defense, we recommend filtering your tap water. Both reverse osmosis and activated carbon filters can greatly reduce PFAS. It's also important to remember that you can be exposed not just in your drinking water, but also from food and food packaging. EWG recommends limiting carryout or fast food for this reason. Avoid microwave popcorn and instead pop it on the stovetop. Avoid purchasing products that contain PFAS, such as those marketed with the words long lasting, waterproof, stain resistant, stain repellent, or non stick. Ultimately, we need to keep PFAS from getting into the environment in the first place. We also need to hold polluters accountable for the contamination that they have caused and set tougher standards for cleaning up existing pollution. To learn more about PFAS and for more tips on how to avoid these forever chemicals, head to ewg.org slash PFAS chemicals.